These are the 20 wildest moments in football history. Oh my God. on fire! And at number 20, a moment so absurd, it almost ruined the last Bundesliga game of the season. And wait a minute, we have the sprinkler working. <laughs> well, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> at least the player got a little break because of it. And this reporter deserves one too. This is a ballot for Leeds United one. Chelsea for the reason for United one. <laughs> this dude butchered Sheffield United harder than me when I tried to pronounce Valt Wehorst. The I, I can't, I can't do it. But someone who butchers harder than all of us is Hulk. Even at 36 years old, this dude has the most insane shooting power ever. Hulk from outside the area. 45 yards. That's wild. But well, what's even wilder is this supporter who dressed up as the Joker for weeks as his team got closer to the 2018 playoffs. The Dutch club was playing in the second division and finally had the opportunity to make it to the highest league. So game after game, a mysterious fan stole the show without revealing his identity. Let puts a smile on your face. A grote vraag is natuurlijk: wie is het? Wie bent u? An outstanding answer. Say what you want, but his presence definitely worked because they made it to the Eredivisie again. Now that's a good way to support your team. Unlike number 16, because this dude. Um... Jeff. Hey, there comes an idiot to throw to. This is a blow to count. That you know what's going on here, and that you this is a foul call that you must do. Yeah, he got there after that. And where pack you him then? Very strange. It's all a wetterschap, sign. But oh, what dumb. I think Wayne Rooney also lost a bet, because he might be the strongest guy in the pitch, and I don't think he stands a chance against King Barrett. Oh, didn't see that coming. But sometimes you just get blindsided. Studio has filled this up. Ooh, that must have hurt. But he got off easy. Unlike Speed, when a fan assaulted him at a game. So look at that. Yeah, bro. Is it bro? What the f Like, what? Why would you do that to Speed, man? Just keep your hands to yourself, but I don't think Speed will be sad about it for long. Because on the 17th of June, 2023, he finally met Cristiano Ronaldo. I got you right here. Hey, 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 hey. This is my Ronaldo tattoo. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> But not all wild moments are as wholesome, because what Anthony Yuja did should be illegal. Hey, yo, what? That's not how you treat your mascot, dude. That's just wild. But it's nothing compared to our top three, so just make sure to stick around for that. But first, I never expected Mbappe to humiliate one of my favorite YouTubers. <laughs> Oof, Usi got beat at his own game. But yo, what? He has over 2 million subs? And we're not even at 100k yet? Come on, hit that sub button for me. Because next up, we've got the wildest manager in football history, King Louie. This man doesn't only do karate kicks on the field or shows how players dive nowadays. He also gives the most entertaining interviews ever. Now the fans are shouting every week, Louis van Gaal's army! <laughs> Louis van Gaal's army! And now we zoenen we elkaar op de mond. <laughs> and then my all-time favorite, Desire. Uh, hungry. And uh, a lot of times I, I use the word uh, horny uh, to my place. <laughs> it's true, isn't it? <laughs> but I know one girl who's even hornier, Orla Salome. Because this TikTok star didn't stock one, not two, but three Premier League players. It all started when she hooked up with Mason Mount one night. They texted for a few months, but 
Mount realized he wasn't that interested and decided to break things off. But Sloane? Nah, she wasn't having any of that. She begged Mount to take her back for months. Mount got so annoyed that he even blocked her. But again, she wasn't having any of that and just got herself a new phone number, which she ended up doing 21 times because Mount kept blocking her. Things got so bad, Chelsea had to level up their security at the training ground because he was scared that she would just rock up and hurt him. But the story gets even wilder because when she realized it wasn't going anywhere with Mount, she just moved on to his former teammate Billy Gilmore, who had just transferred to Brighton, but this time she went full on psycho mode, which resulted in bad sleep for Gilmore and having to take sleeping tablets which then affected his performance on the pitch, as he stated in court. And on top of that, she also harassed Ben Chilwell. Luckily Sloane has pleaded guilty to all the charges and will be sentenced on June 20th, so make sure to subscribe if you want to see more about the case. And something I want to know more about is Kaka's accuracy. Can Ricardo Kaka kick a ball, hit the target? From one boat to the other. Oh! Oh! oh. You got it, you got it! Oh. Oh. Technically hit it, but it's a little bit high. Yeah, a little low, a little low. Oh, oh yeah, I like yeah. it, I like it. Yeah. Now, as wild as Kaka's shooting power might be, we may have to address Jack Grealish's recent behavior. I mean, we all know Jackie is a bit of a lunatic, and that's also why we love him. But after officially securing the treble and lifting up the Big Ear trophy, Jackie has gone wild, downing beers in the locker room, interrupting interviews, refusing to take off his kit, and still rocking it at 6 a.m. in the morning, drinking pure vodka, showering in champagne, needing Kyle Walker to make sure he doesn't fall into the crowd and even helping out security <laughs> this dude is an animal and uh so is this is <laughs> But that's not even the wildest appearance on the football field. Because that happened during Euro 2020. France was up against Germany in the group stage. The players had just made it onto the field, and the ref was about to start the game until this happened. Yeah, some crazy Greenpeace protester thought that this was the perfect opportunity to spread his message while putting others in danger. Multiple people had to go to the hospital to get treatment for their injuries, and the guy almost hit France's coach when the wires got attached to an overhead camera from the stadium. And with that, we've made it to the top three. So let's kick it off with a moment that I had to watch twice before I could believe it. Yeah, that's a freaking bear on the field at a Russian club. That's literally the definition of a wild moment in football. This clip has been watched tens of millions of times and caused tons of controversy. So much so that PETA, a group that stands up for the ethical treatment of animals, claimed that letting a bear hand over the ball as entertainment was inhumane. But uh, Russia doesn't seem to give a f They love watching bears down there. Hey, they even brought him back to celebrate the team's victory. But number two on this list is by far the wildest transfer in football history. Cause in 2014, goalkeeper Tim Weiss hung up his boots and stepped into the WWE. Yeah, the story of Tim Weiss is a one of a kind in many ways. He made his debut in the Bundesliga back in 2002, made a total of 269 appearances and even played for Germany's national team. But over the years, his looks and behavior started to change. Instead of just staying in goal, dude also started practicing his wrestling skills on the field. And I can't blame him. He just wanted to put those arms to the test. Like, holy cow, what does this man eat? But anyways, he hung up his boots in 2014 and made his official WWE he debuted quickly after. Tim Now look, before we get to the wildest football moments in history, there's a couple honorable mentions that are so good, I just gotta show you. And first up, we got the dude who attached himself to the goalpost in the middle of a game. 
This dude was protesting against the UK for using too much oil or something. I, I don't know, but it was just ridiculous. Another fan even handed a steward a knife to cut him loose. I've never seen anything like that. And I never expected to see a stadium actually collapse. I think fans have been partying a little too hard there, resulting in millions of dollars in damages. And Garincha lost millions of dollars for child support, because this man holds the record for having the most kids of any football player ever. A total of 13. And the craziest thing, it was with four different women. Four. And as ridiculous as those moments are, the wildest moment of all of them is number one. The time a fan found a low-hanging cable in the stadium and decided to use it as a swing. Like, what was this dude thinking? You ain't no Tarzan. Sit your ass down, just enjoy the game. That stuff is dangerous. But you know what's even more dangerous? These absurd moments. Click that video right here.